Time to play with some clay. Some time back, I think probably a year, maybe two, or a little over a year ago, I did this sculpture of uh, Sitting Bull. And I did it primarily as a uh, sketch for a figure that I wanted to do at some point in the near future. Well, that near future is come and I'm thinking of doing this uh, larger. I just have to determine how much larger I'm going to go. Now there are wax figures of Sitting Bull and uh, at the Madame Trousseau's uh, gallery in London and this is a uh, wax uh, a picture, a close-up picture of that wax figure, and they, it's a good figure, I mean, it's well done, but I want to give them some personality, but anyway, I've been going through photographs of uh, Sitting Bull uh, for about the last uh, several days, trying to decide whether I want to do this or not. This uh, one I have done now is oh, about eight and a quarter inches tall. I want to go a lot taller. Now this mountain man, which was a complete fail, I created oh, several years ago. I think I did it in my studio, so it has to be over two years ago at least three. I didn't like how it was coming out, so I decided to uh, stop working on it. I have a true form armature under this clay, and I can always use the clay, so I'm going to turn this clay apart, and uh, I'm going to reuse the clay, never waste the clay. It goes down below his waist, and uh, I don't need that. Now this is the 24-inch uh, uh, figure, and uh, I got to figure out how I got a lot of this stuff on there. Some of it I screwed on, some of it I didn't, and I uh, just got to carve away the clay to find out what I got underneath. I have a the screw right there. Okay. I screwed into the foam and uh, I think I can pull it out. Yeah, there we go. This clay should be good because uh, I didn't have a mold made of it. I've got another screw up here. So there's no mold material in the clay. It's clean clay, so I just take the clay off of uh, the armature and throw away the pieces I don't need anymore. Then it's just a matter of remounting this clay with this armature. I'm 
try to remember where the screw is right there. Not sure what I drove the screw through. What I try to do is build this up on a board as a uh, relief, and I just didn't like how it was coming out, and so I decided to uh, take it apart. a lot of useful clay out of this thing. There's a screw right there and I gotta figure out where I put it through at. And what I'll do is just force it back through. After all it is foam. It ain't gonna hurt the foam. There we go. There's the head of that screw. There, now I won't be jabbing myself. Okay, I found a wooden dowel that will fit up through his uh, pelvis. And I'm going to drill a hole into the wood here. And put it down in there. I hate these damn things. Now, that thing's screwed up. So the next thing to do is just let that sit and uh, harden. And uh, that's the beauty of uh, true form armatures is you can Take the upper torso off if you need to, which I did. Just got to straighten out the armature a little bit and put the torso back on. And then when I when this uh, hardens, this glue it'll be ready to be worked on and then I can do anything I want to with the upper torso I gotta get that clay off of the uh, face and the only way I'm going to do that is uh, by heating up the clay with a lamp and uh, taking it off. That works out well. All right, I'll just let that uh, sit overnight. And I'm gonna take the head off and uh, I gotta redo my heat lamp over here over my clay, so I'm gonna do that off camera. But drill uh, tomorrow or the next day. See you guys. Give me a thumbs up and share my video, and then check out my instructional DVDs. Uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.